What it do, y'all? This your boy King Eric the Great coming at y'all with another video representing Buddy Boy Entertainment and Off the Cuff Radio. And I know this video here is going to ruffle some feathers. And just by the headline alone, I can tell it's going to ruffle some feathers. The question is, has Royce the 5'9 surpassed Eminem? And my answer will be yes. Now, I take it away Eminem's lyrical abilities. He's one of the nastiest who have done it. But when it comes to not only delivering content, consistency, albums, even verses, Royce has surpassed him. Daniel Sun has surpassed Mr. Miyagi. Even though Royce is not going to admit that for political reasons because he has a relationship with him. Roy's trying to literally work back and get that shady money that he missed out on in the two, in the early 2000s. So, we shouldn't expect Royce to sit there and admit that M, he surpassed him. We just let the people judge for themselves. And it's not a stab at Eminem, because Eminem can go. I like the Kamikaze album. It showed that when his back is against the wall, he can deliver. As Machine Gun Kelly. He crushed Machine Gun Kelly. But... If a Bad Meets Evil album would come out now, Royce would destroy M, verse for verse. Even though on Caterpillar, M, I felt M got him by an edge. But Royce is on his own right now. I'm talking the Street Hop album, the Bar Exam mixtapes, the Book of Ryan, the Prime albums with Premier. Royce been putting it down for the past several years. Whereas M, he kind of regressed. And the Revival album, his people let him know that. That's why he came back with Kamikaze. And Kamikaze was an album that was needed from him. It wasn't, it wasn't his best album, but it was a good album that he needed. It's the best album he came with since Relapse. And I'm one of the people that like Relapse. But Royce is nasty, man. Royce is probably one of the best MCs doing it right now. And if you really even look at the video he just dropped, cocaine, from the video visuals, from the message that he put in it, Royce is definitely in the zone. And I'm hoping for a Bad Meets Evil 2 or 3 album to come out. And because they do have good chemistry together. They really do. But as of now, Royce is that dude. Now, 10 years ago, Eminem was getting them. I mean, not 10 years ago, but in the early 2000s, M was definitely getting them. That's when M was in the zone. He was one of the nasties to do it. Royce was pretty much playing the Robin to Eminem's Batman. Now, the roles have reversed it away. <laughs> But, that's my opinion on it. I felt Royce has surpassed him. In terms of album delivery. Because that Book of Ryan album is fire. This is Royce's most personal album to date. And you really get a glimpse of Royce or who he really is. He's not just a lyrical, miracle, lyrical, spiritual type rapper. He had a lot going on in his life. And he put that out in display. Like it explained, he got into the deep reason of his alcoholism. I mean, Roy's been seeing a lot of demons and he's been through a lot. And he put that out there. So if you ain't check out that Book of Ryan album, you missing out on some real good hip hop music right there. So, do you guys feel that Royce the Five Nine surpassed Eminem? Has Daniel's son surpassed Mr. Miyagi? Let me know in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to tune us every Friday night at 9 p.m. to Pacific 8 Central for the show. Follow Cocaine. Follow Buddy Boy Entertainment on Instagram. Jerry B. Long. Buddy Boy. Buddy Boy at B-U-D-E-B-O-Y 2019. And Off the Cuff Radio at Guillotine 2018. This is King Eric signing out. Leave your comments below.
Peace.